Season 5 has changed everything. From the additions of game-changing dribble moves, all the way to brand new jump shot bases, the meta has shifted in ways nobody could have predicted. So what jump shots should you be using now? That's what we're going to find out. Because today, I have created a list of the absolute best jump shots in the entire game for every build, for every position, and for every three-point rating. You heard that right. It doesn't matter if you have a high three-point rating, a low three Three point rating even no three point rating in this video i have a jump shot for you so drop a like on the video and comment down below the jump shot that you've been using for season five and don't worry if you don't have one you're gonna have one after this video this video is sponsored by underdog fantasy do you think jason tatum will score one point in his next game how about steph curry these are just a few examples of specials underdog hosts every single week and that's not including scorcher picks where you can win up to a hundred times your deposit between the weekly one point specials and scorch your picks you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't sign up for underdog today so make sure to click the link in the description that will automatically put code grinding for you because if you use code grinding underdog will double your first deposit up to a hundred dollars all right y'all we're gonna start with the most overpowered builds in the game six foot five through six foot eight and we're gonna go in order from highest three point rating needed to lowest three point rating need so the first jump shot and arguably the best jump shot in the entire game is base tracy mcgrady release one oscar robertson release two sadiq bay 100 release speed and the blending is 66 percent oscar robertson 34 percent sadiq bay now all of these jump shots i'm gonna show you i personally use on set point just because i'm used to that release timing but for every single one i recommend you use the release timing you're used to and if you're new to the game 100 put it on release timing push Trust me, you'll thank me later. And unlike other jump shot guides, I'm going to show y'all exactly what every jump shot looks like when you're shooting. So the T-Mac jump shot looks exactly like that. Super fluent, whether you have stamina or not, really easy to time jump shot. You'll see it's always going to be green. I'm so used to T-Mac at this point. It's like second nature. I'm going to try and drain my stamina all the way down here and still shoot it. You get the little slower timing, but you could really see when you're supposed to release it at the flick of the wrist. So no matter what, you always get the green. There's really not much that needs to be said about T-Mac, bro, it is just the most overpowered jump shot in the entire game. Think of base 11 from 2K19. You can literally just shoot over people at will. In one, you're gonna get a less contest than any other jump shot you shoot with. In two, even if you do get an over 40 or 50% contest, you could still green it. Super overpowered jump shot, and it definitely takes our number one spot. Now, our second jump shot only requires an 84 mid-ranger three-point rating, and that jump shot is base Ben Shepard, release one Troy Brown Jr. release two Kyle Korver the blending is actually three force not four force it's three force on this jump shot because four four with Ben Shepard is just a little too fast and the blending is 83% Troy Brown Jr. and 17% Kyle Korver now this jump shot is way faster than T-Max jump shot you'll see right off the bat you're not the one even shooting and I'm pretty sure you could tell how much faster it is than T-Max it literally feels like I'm just tapping X and the jump shots already in the air it it is kind of hard to get used to you can see that i'm a little overcompensating and like releasing it a little earlier especially after using t-mac but here i'm agreeing this one for you because once you get used to it it is actually a really easy jumper to time i think i literally just found it while recording oh my game just crashed right there oh no it didn't crash okay how about to say bro it like glitched a little bit but i literally think i found the timing while just talking to y'all right here bro here i'm gonna do it with no stam bang that's green i already know it yep Bro, it's a really easy timing. I'm not going to lie to you. The pros of using this jump shot over T-Mac is you're going to get your jump shot off quicker before the defense can even contest. So T-Mac, you can shoot over contest. So it doesn't matter if they get there or not. This jump shot, you can't necessarily shoot over people, but you can get it off quicker. So there is no contest. It's just your preference. I would say if you like to shoot open and you find yourself taking more open shots than contested, you might like this jump shot better than T-Mac because it is way faster. But overall, both super smooth jump shots here. I'm going to pull back, which is a harder timing. I'm still going to green that it's really easy to time i'm not gonna lie to you and honestly i kind of really like how this one feels i don't know if it's gonna feel the same online as it is in the gatorade court i'm gonna have to test it out but i'm gonna test it out and i'm gonna get back to y'all on this but so far this is the second best jump shot 
this season. And coming in in third place is another jump shot you can get with an 84 mid range or 84 three point. This time it is base Torian Prince, release one Troy Brown Jr., release two Cal Corver. 100% release speed because it's not as quick as Ben Shepard is. And the animation blending is 43% Troy Brown Jr., 57% Kyle Corver. Now, I know I just said it's not as fast as Ben Shepard, but if you put this on 4 4 and you put Ben Shepard on 3 4, this definitely feels a hundred times faster than Ben Shepard. Again, I said I was tapping it with Ben Shepard. This is literally me just tapping the X button, bro. It is so quick. I want y'all to put this on and see how quick it is. So you can know I'm not exaggerating. Here, let me drain my stamina a little bit low key to make it a little bit slower, but I have made my first two shots with it, even after trading jump shots. Yeah, all right, there we go. <laughs> I am about to say, without stamina, it might be a little harder to time. Let me try one more time. Oh, it's a little hard to time with no stamina, so keep that in mind. Which makes me think putting at 4-4 was the right call, because when you're at full stamina, super easy to time, always going to be green. That feels really smooth, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if I would prefer this over Ben Shepard just because of the low stamina thing. Maybe it's just a me thing, maybe y'all are just better than me, but whenever I get low stamina with this jump shot, it feels weird. But full stamina, that jump shot feels so clean, oh my god. I really might have to experiment with this, bro. Like, hold on, I'm going to try it from D. Yo, now nah, that's tough. That's actually a tough jumper. This might have to go number two. Y'all try both these jumpers on the wreck and let me know which one takes the number two and which one takes the number three spot, bro. Because these are kind of tough. That's a really smooth jumper. Anyways, I'm glazing this jumper. We need to move on. Finally, the last jump shot for six foot five to six foot eight players. It's for my lower three point rating builds. You only need a 76 mid range or 76 three points. So every build should be able to have this. And the jump shot is base JT Thor, release one Troy Brown Jr., release two Charles Bassey, 100% release speed. And the animation blending is 70% Troy Brown Jr., 30% Charles Bassey. This is the return of one of the season one juggernauts, JT Thor. I haven't really seen people use this base since season one just because he got power crept by T-Mac and Ben Shepard but it is still a reliable jump shot if you want to use it I use JT Thor all the way up until season four actually before people finally convinced me to try T-Mac and then obviously I never switched back because T-Mac is just OP but I mean, if you look at it, bro, it is still clean. Now, it is easily the slowest jump shot on this list by far. It's not even close. Not to say that it's a slow jumper. It is just the slowest because the other ones are so quick. But that could also mean that it's the easiest one to time. Because right now, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't feel like I'm ever going to miss this jump shot. It just feels really smooth. Hold on. Maybe with no stamina on this. Because it does make it slower. Ooh, with no stamina, it feels real slow. Still got the timing off. Here, I'm going to do it with no stam like whatsoever. There we go. Come on, final test. Okay, bro, I'm not, it's so easy to time. It is so easy to time. If you're open with this, you're cashing it every single time. So for my lower three point rate and builds, that is the jump shot for you. All right, y'all, now for six foot four and under jump shots. Same format as last time, we're gonna go from highest rating to lowest, and luckily the highest rating is my jump shot and my absolute favorite six four and under jump shot, which is base Stephen Curry, release one Darius Garland, release two Stephen Curry, 100% release speed, and the blending is 15% Darius Garland, 80 85% Steph Curry. I've been using this jump shot since about season two of 2K24. It is easily the best jump shot in the entire game for me. Four, six foot four and unders. Obviously, nothing is gonna pass T Mac. It's just how it is. But bro, I will, but bro, I'm telling you, a jump shot that is so quick so easy to time it's so hard to come by look no stamina still green i already know it's green i already know it's green before it even goes in now to be fair i do have this jump shot like imprinted in me like the back of my hand at this point you could say i could shoot from half court with no stamina whatsoever but that should just show you how much i actually like this jumper i waited for my stamina to get up so i could show you how quick it really is when it's at full stand bro it is so smooth you release it right at the flick of the wrist i'm on set point so on push it's gonna be even easier bro it is just a super good jump shot there's not more to say about it it is my number one jump shot and it happens to be the highest rating jump shot. Now, the second jump shot on this list is base Jalen Brunson. Release one Oscar Robertson. Release two Terrence Mann. 100% release speed in the blending 67% Oscar Robertson, 33% Terrence Mann. My Jalen Brunson's users rejoice, man. This, this jump shot did make it past the season patch, okay? It is still clean. It's not one of my personal favorites. You're probably gonna see me miss a couple times with it, but it is a super clean jump shot as well. It is slower than Steph Curry's, but some people like a slower jump shot. Plus, that means it's easier to time. You can always see where the release timing is going to be at. Um, Honestly, there's not much to say about it. It's literally just a slower Curry. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. If you don't like how fast Curry is, Jalen Brunson is a really good alternative. You can see, like, I haven't missed a shot yet. I'm still three for three. Let's see. 
Oh, this dude's gonna ruin it. This dude's ruining it because whenever he hops on, it's gonna make me shoot an early. Let's see. Can I make it through the through the lag? Oh yeah, through the lag. That's how you know it's goaded. Hey, he got a rebound. Hold on. Gotta make it off his assist. Bang. Come on. <laughs> All right, bro. But yeah, Jalen Brunson is number two. The third jump shot on this list is the jump shot that people would argue is actually the best 6-4 and under jump shot in the entire game. But it is gate kept behind starter three, I'm pretty sure. Is base Patrick Mills, release one Oscar Robertson, release two Darius Garland, 100% release speed, and the bling is 80% Oscar Robertson, 20% Darius Garland. People call this jump shot the T-Mac for 6-4 and unders. I'm not joking. Patty Mills is the T-Mac for 6-4 and unders. If you want to be able to shoot over people's heads it's this jump shot if you want to be able to shoot super quick it is this jump shot people say this is the greatest six four and under jump shot in the entire game and it's not even close now the positives of it it is actually faster than curry which is insane because curry is a really fast jump shot it's faster than curry you can shoot over heads obviously i'm not really used to this jumper because i don't use it but it is the best jump shot in the entire game for competitive play. So if you're a competitive pro-am player, this is a jump shot you're going to use, no doubt about it. You can't really reliably use Curry and Brunson in competitive pro-am because you'll get contested too often. It's just how the game works for 6-1 under players. But for Patty Mills, that's not a problem whatsoever. Patty Mills, a dude jumps right there. You're still getting no contest. You're still greening it every single time. If you do get a contest, it's going to be like 10% or under. And even if you do get like a 40% contest, they get a really good jump on you. You can still green it because it's Patty Mills. Now, don't let my game play fool you put on this jumper yourself and see how smooth it is yourself i think y'all really like it i'm not really used to it honestly i haven't i'm obviously not a part of like the competitive pro-am scene so there's no need for me to use it i play rec casually and i play part casually this year so i just use like curry and brunson mainly but it does feel super smooth it does take a little bit getting used to because it is really quick but again i'm on set point y'all are gonna be on push i think y'all be perfectly fine so give it a try let me know how y'all like it it is supposed to be the number one jumps on the game for this position. And finally, for my lower three-point rating, 6-4 and unders, if you made a lower three-point build for whatever reason, the base is John Stockton, release one Colin Sexton, release two Colin Sexton, blending's 50-50 because it doesn't matter, and the release speed is 100%. Now, I'm going to say right off the rip, this isn't the best jump shot, to be honest, but it is the best jump shot you can get for a lower rating build. It is ridiculously quick, but once you get it down, you will be greening it open every single time. You can really tell when the release timing is. Honestly, this is my first two shots with it on and I already greened it. It's that easy. Hold on, I'm gonna try and do it with no stam. I'm pretty sure stamina was a problem with this one. Let me see. Yeah, I was about to say, it feels a little weird with no stam. Let me try one more time. In there, in there, that's in. Okay, all right, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Uh, my only problem with it is that on a 6-4, you are gonna run out of stamina because you have to dribble a lot. You're smaller, you have to get open. But but with full stamina, it's automatic green. And with no stamina, if you can get it down, it is a bucket. Let me see if I can green that one. Nope, it is what it is. I guess I'm not a bucket with John Stockton, but y'all can be. All right, here, hold on. Let me try one more time. That's in. Full stamina, it's always green. But yeah, that's it for the 6-4 and under jump shots. Finally, our big man jump shots. Just like everything else, we're going to start with the highest rated and go to lowest. So the first jump shot is base. Michael Porter Jr. Release one Tim Duncan. Release two Nikola Jokic. 100% release speed and the blending is 81% Tim Duncan, 19% Jokic. Now, I'm going to be honest, even though this is the highest rated jump shot for big man, this is not my favorite jump shot, but it is the most smooth jump shot on the entire list. List. but what i mean by that is catch and shoot it is easily the easiest to time jump shot on the entire list hence the high rating he's gonna pass it to me bang green every single time doesn't matter it's just super easy to time you can really see when you're about to release it i didn't invite this dude by the way it just happened to see that he showed up the second i mentioned catching and shooting so this kind of works out i appreciate your rare pausing for showing up hold on gotta green it for him bang <laughs> But yeah, that's the first jump shot on the list. The second highest rated jump shot and my favorite jump shot for big man builds is base Eric Pascal, release one Marvin Bagley the third, release two Tim Duncan, 100% release speed, and the blending is 23% Marvin Bagley, 77% Tim Duncan. And the reason this is my favorite jump shot is it just feels the most fluent. Like, I don't, I don't know, just something about this jump shot. I feel like everyone, when you put this on, you're gonna just instantly feel that this is just a really good, easy jump shot, bro. I don't, it's really really quick it feels fluent all the way through there's no hitch in it it's just really good that's gonna be late i already felt that hold on i'm gonna try with no stamina i haven't used a big in a while i forget what it's like with no stamina even with no stamina it feels pretty smooth it's a little slow so i try to overcompensate there but hold on i'm gonna try one more time 
and that one's green i already know that one's green i tried to do it with no stamina but i'm gonna have stamina for this one it's cool pull back bang you're not gonna be shooting off the dribble but it's something you could do if you really want to mess around barely any stamina doesn't matter still green no stamina whatsoever that's early okay so no stamina is a little tough hold on let me hold a little longer get in there okay wait no stamina come on i gotta hit one blinking i gotta hit one blinking okay blinking it's a little tough i can't lie to you <laughs> oh man blinking it's a little too slow for me but normally and with low stamina it's a really good jump shot easily my favorite jump shot for the big man bit. now getting to the lower rated jump shots i'm going to give you one more base which is jonathan isaac i'm going to give you two variations of this jump shot one that needs an 83 rating and one that needs a 79 for the 83 rating it is base jonathan isaac release one dirk Nowitzki, release two tim duncan 100 release speed and the blending is 40 percent dirk 60 percent tim duncan this jump shot feels quick but it is actually slow than both of the others because you have to release it at a higher arc than all the other ones my rebounder is dribbling so i gotta go get the ball but yeah so you can see when i release the ball it's right when it's above my head instead of at the flick of the wrist i have no stamina obviously so it was a little slower that time yeah for this jump shot it's over your head when you release it which feels weird to me because again i'm a set point user and that's usually like what pushes timing is like usually i like to release it like the um right before this point but it is kind of clean i feel like on push it'll feel more natural set point it feels a little awkward for me trying to have to hold it a little longer just so it could get over his head before he flicks his i don't know it's weird it's a weird jumper i definitely recommend the other two but if you're around an 83 release timing it is still a smooth jumper it's just really hard for me because i'm on set point uh, i'm gonna try yeah i'm gonna try and green this last one leave on a positive note on this jump shot hold on gotta get up to the three-point line back up for the game in there <laughs> and finally last but not least the lowest rating jump shot on this list is base jonathan isaac release one marquise chris release two tim duncan 100 release speed and the blending is 88 marquise chris 12 tim duncan you only need a 79 three or midi for this jumper and it's still jonathan isaac base so it's gonna feel pretty similar as the last jumper it's just for the lower rating honestly there's not much more to say about this jumper it's just that you can use it as a 79 and it feels a little quicker on the release let me try with no stamina see if it's better than the 83 actually okay with no stamina it actually feels cleaner than the 83 hold on let me find out the 79 is better than either let me try with blinking okay blinking is still impossible okay no stamina, no problem hold on I'm gonna, I'm gonna get blinking green that come on hey okay with no stamina, it is cleaner than the last one I, I feel like in my opinion again i'm on set points so everything i say could be different than everything y'all experience but the fact of the matter is all the jump shots in the video are viable it just depends on what timing you like what are your preferences i feel like y'all are all gonna find a jump shot you absolutely love in this video but anyways y'all that's pretty much it in the comments let me know which jump shot are you rocking with from this video or if you have a secret jump shot that nobody knows about that you've been absolutely killing with share it with the comments man don't gatekeep you feel me we're all trying to eat we're all trying to have fun but anyways y'all thank you so much for watching i love you all and as always keep grinding falling falling who can we never be falling right she never be calling still hitting shots while they steady be taunting falling falling who can we never be falling right she never be calling still hitting shots while they steady be calling